It's not always easy for talent to know which camera to look at, and that's why we have tally lights. Tally lights are basically a way of indicating to the talent which camera a producer is using. In the good old days, these were used with GPI and contact closures and basically required an electronics degree. And for most of us, that's not the case, and we like to make producing video as easy and painless as possible. Starhoy have created some very simple tally lights that have a lot of neat features. So let's take a look at a couple of the cool things that they do. Here we have Scarhoy's uh, Tally System base station, and this is a unit that works just like all the other Scarhoy devices. It has a PoE-powered Ethernet connector on the back, and it can be programmed just the same way as uh, all other Scarhoy devices. However, uh, on top here are eight RJ45 connectors. These are not, in fact, Ethernet. These are just RJ form. Uh, RJ45 form factor so that we can use regular Ethernet cables to connect the different uh, tally lights. And they've got LEDs to indicate which one is active. Now, there are two topologies that we can use when wiring up our tally lights. One is as a string. It's too small, but there's a number written here that says 1-2-3, and one written here that says 2-3-4, and so on and so forth, which is to indicate that I can run a single wire, if this is back in my control room, I can run a single wire out to my three cameras and then daisy chain up to three. The same is true, but the other way is that we could just do home runs of eight different cameras. So this is camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, and so on. So just to give you a quick overview of what you're looking at here. So this is the base station and we have three tally lights here and here and here. So if I bring up camera one and program, you can see that this tally light is lit up. And in preview is this camera. And if I could, there's a tally light, there's a lamp on the backside for a camera operator to know that they are getting ready to go. So let me take, a, take you on a closer tour and bring up camera two. So this is a PTZ camera, and it, it is on uh, a PTZ cam um, bracket, which has a threaded mount on the bottom. And when we cut to it, you can see that the, uh, the tally light lit up. And in this case, this is the one that's running to the number two spot on our, uh, on our base station, and it has an in and a through. So there's two RJ45s. One is going to the base station, and the other is going to this next unit. The next unit is a DSLR with a uh, hot shoe mount. So if I bring that one up, you can see that one's live now. And that one is connected to the output of number two. So it's, we've got not just two ways of doing the um, connections to the tally lamp. We've got, um, we can mix and match them. So in one case, I've done a home run directly to the USB camera, and in the other case, I've done a run to the PTZ camera and then looped through that to the third one. So you can mix and match whichever makes the most sense for you. Setting up your Scarhoy tally lights is remarkably easy. Uh, if you have one of the supported products, all you have to do is come in to the uh, firmware updater and select online configuration, and it will take you here to this page from which you can select from a drop down the product that you're uh, wanting to use. So we've got support for ATEMS, uh, Livestream Studio, Roland, TriCaster, uh, vMix. And then we have two interesting ones. Uh, one is TSL. This is a, it's not exactly an open source standard, but it is a, um, a, an industry standard for tally lamp support. And then we also have uh, Ethernet to GPI link interconnection. This is for Scarhoy's uh, GPI um, to Ethernet adapter, and this will let you adapt those aforementioned um, slightly antiquated GPI-based tally systems to a uh, IP-based infrastructure. So in this case, I came through and I selected vMix tally, and it automatically um, populated all the commands that I needed, and I just entered the IP address of the vMix system that I wanted to connect it to, and we're off to the races. The flip side of that is, is if you want to come in here and just like the Scarhoy controllers, if you want to edit what each button does, you can. 
um, we can go in here and we can select the, the different um, outputs, those RJ45s, their program and preview modes, and what exactly they do. And why would we want to do this? Maybe we have a slightly complex studio where we have a mixture of vMix and Blackmagic. So if we want to have, say, Blackmagic doing a um, on-screen, uh, like an iMag display, and we have vMix producing the live stream, and we have both of these sending different kinds of information to different places and doing two different things at the same time, we will want both of those to send the correct commands. And we can configure it to work with multiple cores, just like any other Scarhoi device. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to set up one of the Scarhoi tally systems with vMix or any of the other supported products. If you have any further questions, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.